Today I'm gonna speak about the Tamron 150 600mm lens. This lens is mostly uh, interested by bird or wildlife photographers. It's a huge lens with approximately 2 kg, which is quite big in an absolute scale, but not so big if you compare to the other lenses usually used in wildlife. Let's see some pictures of the lens. You can see here it is quite a huge lens. Even uh, the lens is not extended in, in this picture. It can be extended significantly. You can see here there's 95 mm filters. The front element is 95 mm diameter. There are several switches. There's a focus limiter to 15 meter. There's a autofocus manual focus switch, and there's a vibration control Im image stabilization switch on and off. And there's also a zoom lock which prevents uh, zoom creeping. You can see here is like 10 cm uh, bigger will be the lens at the 600 mm setting. You can see here as well. The lens has a very nice tri tripod color. This is uh, I use it to to get the lens by it. It has a fir firm grip. It's a very nice. This is a very nicely executed part of the lens. Uh, I like it very much. The back part of the lens looks like this. At shorter distances, the quality is very good. Uh, the resolution is very high. You can see lots of details on the pictures. This lens can comparable to any uh, very sharp lenses like the Canon 70 200mm f2.8 or any macro lenses with very high resolution. This, this lens is very sharp at the shorter focal length is where the field of view is, is more wide. But everybody is interesting. Let's see one more picture here. Just want to show the color, the, the beautiful colors you can get with very nice contrast. But everybody is interesting how it perform and a 600 mm end of the lens. Let's see some pictures here about this pigeon. The pigeon was like 20 25 meter away. This picture was made at f8 at uh, 1 3200 second on a tripod. And this picture is better focused, but generally the autofocus speed and accuracy as well is very nice. As I, I make lots of pictures, especially a 600 mm setting. The lens is sharpest at 300 and 400 mm. At f8 is quite quite sharp, but I will show you how is it at f6.3 wide open. Also not bad.
this shot is made at 6.3 aperture at 600 mm setting. I would say the quality is quite nice. several pictures all with f6.3 here is f11 is even sharper it depends on the camera as well I have an 8 megapixel camera but for 80 megapixel camera perhaps or a diffraction limit at f11 the autofocus speed and accuracy is very good just several minutes the, the, the airplane is just appeared on the sky and, and I can manage to get a shot a sharp shot so uh, if you want to have more information please check my website uh, oldshutterhand.com there's a review about this lens with all kind of samples. I think it's a very good value lens for this for this one thousand dollar. You cannot get anything better. The other lens can uh, can be considered is the Canon four hundred mm f five point six, but it's not a zoom lens. It is a prime lens, but also has a very good value. These two lenses are the really really the cheapest really serious wildlife for bird photography lens thanks for watching